For about a year, my oldest son worked and saved up money to buy himself a gaming PC and finally had enough money to buy one at the start of summer. He needed a proper desk for it, so I got to work to build him one. I purchased Naughty Alder for this project and milled it down to dimensional lumber sizing. You can certainly purchase dimensional lumber for this project if you don't have a way to mill it down. I started first with the desktop. I laid out all of the boards and arranged them based on which side I wanted face up and which side I wanted face down. I then glued up all the edges and clamped the desktop together to dry. Next I moved on to building the panels that would make up the cabinet of drawers on one side of the desk. I marked where I wanted my pocket holes to go, making sure to avoid any knots in the wood, then went over to my Craig Foreman to drill the pocket holes. I glued up the boards and clamped them together, then attached everything with one and a quarter inch pocket screws. When the desktop was dry, it was time to square up the ends and trim it down to size. I set it up on my new adaptive cutting system from Craig and squared up one side, then turned it around and cut it to the 60 inches that I needed. I had intentionally cut the boards for the side panels slightly long as well, so I followed the same steps to get them squared up and cut down to size. The desk will also be a place where my son does his homework, so I wanted him to have a smooth surface to work on. I tinted some epoxy and filled in the knots on the surface of the desktop. I measured the final width of the desktop and then trimmed the side panels to be 3 quarters of an inch narrower than that. This way the drawers I'll be adding will be flush with the front edge of the desktop. I drilled pocket holes into the top edge of the panels, then got to work building the drawers. I used 3 quarter inch Baltic birch for both the drawers and the cabinet bottom. Once all of the pieces were cut, I drilled 3 quarter inch pocket holes into the front and back pieces as well as both long sides of the cabinet bottom. I used a roundover bit to take the sharp edge off the top edges of the drawer pieces, then used a quarter inch straight bit to route a groove for the drawer bottoms. These steps are totally optional and you can always cut the drawer bottoms the size of the drawers and then nail and glue the drawer bottoms in place. While I was working at the router, I also added a rabbet to the back edge of the side panels for the quarter inch plywood backing to fit into. I then moved over to my table saw and cut the quarter inch Baltic birch plywood to make the drawer bottoms and cabinet backing. With all of the drawer bottoms cut and ready to go, I began assembling the three drawers using wood glue and quarter inch pocket screws. Once the drawers were done, I moved back over to the desktop which was ready for a good sanding. I started with my belt sander and 80 grit sandpaper and worked my way up to 220 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander.
For the legs, I milled and glued up two pieces of 8 quarter alder to be the equivalent of a 4x4. I clamped the pieces together and set them aside to dry. I started assembling the cabinet, clamping the sides to the base, and attaching them with one and a quarter inch pocket screws. Once the cabinet was assembled, I attached the quarter inch plywood back with wood glue and three quarter inch staples. Before I cut the 4x4 legs down to size, I wanted to be extra sure that my calculations were correct. I attached the hairpin legs to the desktop and then flipped it over to measure and ensure that the 28 inch legs were in fact exactly 28 inches. Once that was determined, I squared up my legs on my joiner, then cut them down to 4 inches. I attached them to the bottom of the cabinet with wood glue and 2.5 and inch wood screws. Next it was time to attach the cabinet to the desktop. I ran a bead of glue on top of the edges of the panels, then lined it so the outside panel was flush with the outside edge of the desktop. I then clamped the desktop down and attached everything with one and a quarter inch pocket screws. I moved on to build the elevated shelf where the monitor would sit. I drilled 3 quarter inch pocket holes into one of the boards and attached it to the other with wood glue and 1 and a quarter inch pocket screws. I did the same thing with the vertical risers for the shelf, then attached the pieces together. For the drawer fronts, I cut the boards down to length, then ripped them to size on the table saw. The middle and bottom drawer fronts are pieced together and sanded down to make up the larger faces. Once the shelf was sanded down, I positioned it on top of the desk, 4 inches in from the left side. I measured and marked the underside of the desktop for my reference points for where I should drill my pilot holes then drilled the pilot holes through the desktop and into the shelf risers. I finished off my pilot holes with a countersink bit, then attached the shelf with 3 inch wood screws. For the stain, I used Provincial by Verithane, which matches the rest of the furniture in my son's room. Once the stain was dry, I followed it up with four coats of Wipe-On Poly, sanding in between with 220 grit sandpaper. When the finish was dry, I installed the drawer slides. I used 18 inch side mount drawer slides and installed them with my drawer slide jigs. To attach the drawer faces, I pre-drilled the holes for the hardware into the drawer faces, then went over to the desk and positioned them to the front of the drawer boxes. I started with the bottom drawer lining it up flush with the bottom of the cabinet, then drove one and a quarter inch wood screws through the holes I had drilled. I worked my way up the cabinet using playing cards to set my gap, readjusting and adding more cards as necessary to get an even gap between all of the drawer faces.
What I should have done at this point is pull the drawers out and attach them to the drawer boxes from the inside, but I got ahead of myself and instead finished drilling out the holes for the hardware and attached that first. Once all of the hardware was installed, I then went back and attached the drawer faces to the boxes from the inside with one and a quarter inch wood screws. It wasn't a big deal to mix up the steps, but I did run the risk of the drawer faces getting slightly off kilter. Thankfully that didn't happen. The final step was installing the LED lighting under the shelf. This obviously isn't necessary, but since gaming PCs have all sorts of fancy lights on them, it seemed fitting that the desk should ha also have the same. I'll link to the light strip I bought in the description below. To get the free plans and tutorial for this project, click the link to my website in the description below. Also, for more project videos just like this one, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you're alerted when new videos are published.